here we are for another special report and I'm really pumped up about today's products or I sure am items. too. Yeah, I have been since these uh, arrived on our doorstep. Actually, I've been the lucky recipient of these. Yeah, I've been playing with all this stuff. I had to come visit it. We've got the Porsche 911 Carrera wheel here. Well, here's the box, here's the wheel. And pedal set. It's got a uh, clutch, brake and obviously brake and gas. <laughs> And we recently showed you the 911 Turbo Wheel. This is the Carrera Wheel, a little bit less uh, expensive, but we'll get to all the details there. And then we're gonna also show you guys, man, these things weigh about 15, 16 pounds, the Big Daddies, Club Sports. And these are definitely uh, pedals that people have been dying to see. This is a prototype here. We have a pre-production, so a little more further along in the the, the finished or completion level, and that's in our sim pod right now. Maybe we should hold off and talk about these a little later in the show. I agree. Yeah, let's get to the Carrera wheel and tell everybody <laughs> about this. So, 911 Carrera wheel. This is basically Fanatic's budget wheel. We start by saying that right off the bat. It's going to retail for 130 bucks. Uh, I believe you can pre-order now uh, within two months. I don't know the exact ship date of these things, but I'm guessing within the next two months you'll be able to have one at your door. And again, at that price point, it means it's directly taking on the Logitech uh, DF GT. And the Thrustmaster Ferrari F430. So, and, and probably, you know, the price point that most people, uh, you know, want to get involved in sim racing. This is the kind of entry level wheel people are going to be looking at. And this is basically the same wheel as a 911 Turbo um, in a lot of ways. This is gear driven though. Why don't you give it a little turny turn there, Sean? A little loud. Uh, yeah, versus we showed you guys the, the uh, turbo. We got a little demonstration we'll show you, but the 911 turbo is belt driven. Um, and near silent. Right, buttons don't light up like the 911 turbo. Um, a lot of the same functionality, and I'm not sure we mentioned it, but you can adjust the force feedback here on the, uh, as far as the hardware goes, uh, along with software. In software is in one degree increments, uh, up to 900. This is a 900 degree wheel, by the way. Um, and on the hardware, you can go. Uh, actually, this one has changed versus the 911 Turbo. This is uh, two, or 360, 240, and 540 in hardware steps, and then if you do it in software, you can go up to 900, down to, I think, 180 or 100 and something, maybe even lower. And, but I mean, that comes in real handy. I mean, I've gone from iRacing, where I had full 900 degree lock, went to Rally, where I immediately wanted 360, yep. and normally you'd have to leave. Well, if we're in a rally, you can't just leave the stage. So on the fly, I mean, you can literally, well, we'll get to that. Joe. One of the new settings on this wheel uh, that the 911 Turbo didn't have is damper, which basically adjusts how fast this wheel turns. So right there, that's like no damper. You turn the hardware damper on and it, it slows the wheel down. And some uh, some sims that might definitely come in handy. I mm -hmm. noticed I was running iRacing at first with it and it, I kind of liked it like that, but I think it may be like a 33%. You can go uh, again, 33, 66, and 100. You can also do the force feedback in those settings. And you got five presets within there. Also, this display will have functionality. I think we mentioned that about the 911 Turbo. I think this will also have the same display. Yeah. Um, like some of the other single motor uh, force feedback wheels, you have no dead spot, though. I mean, no dead spot. A real good this thing center. is, you know, really smooth. 11.3-inch uh, wheel, rubber grip. Got a nice little... Uh, center stripe. Center stripe up top there. Different button finger con configuration, like we said, no lighting like the 911 Turbo has. We don't, or maybe I didn't say that yet. Maybe that was in take one, you guys didn't see that. But no lights on the buttons like uh, the 911 Turbo, but same buttons. Um, wired. Yeah. No dongle. No dongle. I love that. I mean, I love saying dongle, but I love not needing one. <laughs> also, same type of paddle shifter, so you don't have a paddle, but you have a button. But these have a real good positive click. I mean, you know when you click them. Yep, same clamping mechanism as the 911 Turbo, which we've noticed isn't as bad as we might have thought. Um, I, that's the way I'm, I'm running it right now. Also comes with a six-speed shifter. Same six-speed shifter that came with the 911 Turbo. Does not come with the sequential shifter, though. Comes with the two rods like we showed you. Chopsticks. Um, you know, in the 911 Turbo uh, setup. But uh, six speed, you know, nice positive clicky shifter. Yeah, and when we talk about mounting, I mean, those sticks were never my favorite way. We've gone to our own hard mount installation to take care of that and made a big difference for us there. Um, and then the other things, this is the same pedal unit as the 911 Turbo, not wireless. You have to use the 
We mentioned the S-Video style plug. Now it's got a little green uh, uh, plastic plug on there. But uh, same, you know, I, I honestly didn't use these because the club sports were in, but it's got that same pop, clutchy pop I yeah. mentioned with the Dyna 11 Turbo. Each pedal has a distinct feel. The gas pedal is distinct. The brake is different. Hey, what did Terry say? Our buddy Terry Allen was over here today, and uh, he felt this clutch, and he's, he's running a DFGT right now. And uh, he's like, wait a second. That brake feels a lot better than the one I got. Like a real brake. Yeah, it sure does. So definitely a good brake. And yeah. I never did like the gas as much on this. Uh, it's kind of floppy, but uh, same pedals as the 911 Turbo. And, and that's something, I mean, I'm still using the 911 uh, pedals, and I got used to that gas pedal. I felt the same way you did upon initial, but then it, it definitely started. I got used to it very easily. So I think... Uh, Let's get down to the scores. Ready. Yeah, we're ready. Oh, one thing I also wanted to... We said gear drive loud. Loud but smooth, and we're gonna get to that. It's, it, you just don't think it's, I, I, I was amazed when I drove it, how smooth it was compared to how loud it was. Yeah, actually, let's go ahead and, I mean, we immediately thought it was loud. We've both been using headphones every time we drive, and if I were to drive it and take the headphones off and someone asked me how loud the wheel was, I would have told them it was perfectly silent. I honestly didn't know how loud it was. Well, I knew how loud it was just by turning it without the headphones on, without driving, but I didn't realize how loud it was when I was actually driving. Yeah, but if you were playing with a surround sound, I mean, it might be a little distracting. It is. Or if you're in an apartment, you're in an apartment with somebody yeah. and you're racing late at night, it, it's gonna make a little yeah. noise depending on how much you're wrenching on the wheel. Like yeah. Sean, Mr. Wheelman, <laughs> that thing is just rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> You're gonna see, we got some footage of Sean just wheeling that thing into <laughs> rally. It, it, it's making some serious noise, but then we were running Indy, where you're just using, you know, 85, uh, Indianapolis 500, using precise steps. But anyway, let's get to the ratings, man. Let's we're get kind to of rambling here. Yeah, let's do we it. We'll talk more about this as we go on. So let's start with wheel. Wheel. And when we talk wheel, we're talking really mostly the, the construction aesthetics of the wheel itself. This button isn't the plate, force feedback. Right, button placement. Yeah. Uh, I gave it a 90. And I gave it an 87. Yeah, I, I liked it a lot. Honestly, I think I rated it right around yeah. where I rated the uh, the 911 turbo wheel. The turbo, I gave it a little higher because there was a little, you know, the light up buttons and the leather grip. However, I actually like the rubber grip. It's, yeah. it's It works very well for me. Yeah, it, it's got a nice thick grip too. I, I like it. And it's a bigger wheel, so. I'm actually smoother with this, with this, so. 90 for, like uh, for I said, 87 for Sean. Yeah. Next up, pedals. Pedals, you got them right um, there. Again, you know what? A lot of these things we talked about, you can see in the uh, in the 911 Turbo um, edition. This thing, this wheel basically doesn't come with as much goodies, many goodies as the as the Turbo wheel did. But um, same exact pedals. I gave them an 85. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing that at this price point we're even handling these kind of pedals. I mean, it's amazing. And I also gave it an 85. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man. These other wheels at this price point have a this wheel is going to give them all a run for their money, yeah. no doubt about it. All right, construction and durability is up next. Back to the wheel, kind of. And durability, we honestly don't know yet. Brand uh, new. It's this is pre-production too. It, it's we're rating it based on what we've done in the last week, based on the 911 Turbo, because um, a lot of it is the same. And uh, you know, we've driven a couple hundred miles on this wheel, no doubt, in iRacing, racing, Arca, R Factor, uh, Rally, Richard Burns Rally, uh, a little bit of lift for speed, but. Uh, a lot of it comes down to construction, you know, how well does the case fit, uh, does it feel like it's just well made in general, is everything tight? Yeah, one thing about this case, this this has a, a, a more of like a primerish or a dull finish versus the nice painted one on the 911, so yeah. it's 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 not as nice a construction, but I... It's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like it. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely racy, so I gave it an 80. I gave it an 85. Okay, next up, plug and playability. Plug and play. Now, the 911 wheel, I mean, staying sort of comparing those two with the dongle and the wireless was, it it took some work, but we got it working. Flashing the dongle, it was, you guys, we told you, it was this wheel. Like, download the driver, it didn't come with a driver. Nope, doesn't come with a disc on a driver, but you just go to Fanatic's website, go to support, and it's actually using the same driver as the 911 Turbo. And plug beyond and play. that. Plug it in and... I did not have any issues with this thing plugging into my yeah. Vista laptop like I've talked about before. Yep. Uh, this thing was awesome. So plug and playability, I gave it an 88. And I only gave it an 88 because it didn't come with the disc. You had to download it. would have given it a little, little, it a little bit more. And I gave it a 90. I mean, you, you definitely had to you know, do a little. It didn't just plug itself in, but it was as easy as it gets. Yep. Mounting and installation. All right. 
Uh, the clamp, mention the clamp a little bit better than we thought, than, yeah. than what we originally thought, because we originally hard mounted and... They use this cam action. You've got a, a center screw here that you can set the basic depth of the clamp, and then it has a, camp that, a cam that actually locks it down. Uh, we've definitely found that the nose of the wheel lifts a little bit when using that mechanism. That's that's basically hurt. I think them. you'll see it with Sean's driving. We'll have my footage <laughs> up. He said he didn't notice it though, and no. I guess the, as long as the wheel's not coming off in your lap, I want it as sturdy as possible on my rig. And well, and for that, it's got hard mount spots just like the 911 Turbo did, and we told you guys about those. Mounted to that, it does not budge. Doesn't budge. <laughs> so uh, mounting installation, 80s across the board. 80 for both of us. All right, force feedback. Force We're rolling feedback. through this because we want to get to the big daddies here. <laughs> um, and, you know, this we don't want to bore you guys with this stuff, so we're going to just bang through these and then talk. we'll go through our final thoughts because I'm going to tell you guys what I really think about this thing. Um, force feedback. Well, like we said, it doesn't have any of that dead zone area. It's got one Mabuchi motor. Right. Uh, that's, it's not, it doesn't have the the rumble motors that the uh, 911 Turbo have, and I honestly hadn't used those much, but... Oh, uh, something Fanatic told me, and this is going to be news on the show on our Inside Sim Racing when it does come out, but the driver's going to be updated to where a lot of those functions are going to be built in. Uh, so a lot of the rumble functions, and you'll be able to map. This thing does not have rumble. I'm talking 911 Turbo, sorry. But yeah. this does not have the rumble functions. The Force motor. Feedback, yes, just not the rumble that the 911 had. Gear-driven, like we said. Yeah. Uh, not as strong as the Turbo, it seemed to me. No. Uh, but I'd say just as strong strong as a G12, well, maybe G25 might be a tad stronger. Yeah, I mean, but it had it had fantastic force feedback. Very smooth And again, delivery. that smoothness, yeah. It, and it you was... can dampen it too, depending on what you're driving. So you can have it just raw yeah. or dampened yeah. based and, on the hardware. And it's, it's, it's very accurate and precise. So, I mean, I think Terry used the word, you know, that he, he could turn into a corner with confidence. I mean, you knew what the yep. wheel was gonna deliver. 85 for me? 88. All righty. Now, this is where it I'm really excelled, and in, in, uh, um, and that's in cost. Um, this wheel is the best bang for the buck right now in sim racing, as far as I'm and concerned. It's set a standard. 130, and now this is as long as it remains durable. I'll tell you right now, though, I, I talk to Thomas, the CEO of, of Fanatic, almost daily, and he is determined to have the best customer service out there. So no matter what is going on with these wheels, and we don't know, so far so good with, with us with this wheel, um, it, they're going to cover it. You know, they're going to have good customer service worldwide. So um, cost for me, I, this is the first time I've ever rated something 100. I'm giving it 100, man. At 130 yeah. bucks, you're getting six-speed shifter. A brake and a gas, and they all have distinct feel. That are decent. Sean's yeah. running with these pedals, aren't you? I love them. Yeah. I love them. A uh, six-speed shifter, 900-degree force feedback wheel, plenty of buttons, on-the-fly adjustability. Yep. What, what else? else could you ask for? Paddle it, shifters. Uh, PS3 compatibility. Yeah. This thing is a PS3 <laughs> wheel too. Um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the diehard sim racers didn't want a didn't want the wireless. This gets rid of that. So. Yeah. I gave it a 99. So I yeah. mean, absolutely the best bang for the buck wheel. I, I mean, no comparison. Yep, yeah, I agree. So uh, that leaves us with functionality. Yeah. And lots of functionality with this wheel, with the clutch we just mentioned. It's got the six-speed shifter. Well, mentioned lot works on the PlayStation. Lots of buttons, 900 degrees of rotation. So great scores there, 90s yeah. for both of us. Both of us. So what's the final score there? Close again. I mean, might as well just rate these one by, you know, we might as well just give it one score as we go, but 87 and a quarter for me. And 88. I mean, we differed across the board on a few categories, but I gave it an 88. So we're, we're right there. I mean, very, very high scoring wheel. Uh, one yeah. of the best we've seen on SRT, actually. Yeah. Um, now, my final thoughts really quick, then we're going to get to the club sports. Uh, I was running a G25, and I just... The key word I just said there was, was. Uh, I am going to be using this wheel now, at least until the GT3 RS comes in. <laughs> um, but um, I like the delivery of this better. Like Terry said the key word, confidence. I am so much more confident with this wheel. It's not even funny. I was hitting my apexes. I've been running the uh, Mazda. Been, hey guys, tell all the guys I've been talking to out there last couple nights on the, uh, on the server. We saw John Henry. John Henry, 2 a.m. John, if you're watching, time. hey, we saw you on the survey the other night. But, <laughs> that was both uh, of us driving. Yeah, um, but we were testing this wheel, as a matter of fact, when we were out there, and um, 
man, I can just hit my, oh, back to iRacing, I'm in the Mazda at Sebring, and I am just nailing my apexes with this wheel, and it's just, I think part of it's that dead zone's not there. Uh, I think I'm losing a little bit of confidence with, with that uh, in the G25, and I don't with this wheel. Um, but this wheel's staying on my rig. Yeah, yeah. I'm not I using understand. the pedals right now, because guess which pedals I'm using right now. And I'm still on the 911 wheel, and you know, it's, it's tough for me because the smoothness of, and quietness of that wheel is really something. Uh, it's a lot more expensive wheel. I mean, I don't know if I can compare them the same. I mean, this score, this score is a little price bit points. higher. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll Double be the price. sticking with it, but you, you know, if I had somebody getting into it, this would I would absolutely steer somebody to this wheel in a minute. Oh, no doubt. Especially if you're a PS3, you know, Gran Turismo, grid driver, whatever, and you wanted to get into PC racing, you wanted to start with a wheel, get this. You know what? They have that fanatic stand we're going to be reviewing here yeah. too, uh, the Ren Sport stand, you can just bolt that right up to that stand. I can't cool. reiterate enough for all the Porsche fans out there, this is the real deal emblem. I mean, it's got the little enamel filling in the, I mean, it's it's not just plastic, it's, this yeah. thing's awesome. Porsche licensed product. All right. So, uh, get to the big daddies. Yeah, you want to grab them? Sure. All right, we, uh, Sean and I sat here and contemplated rating these pedals, and we started to, but... Again, these are pre-production. Um, we're still giving him free feedback, and I mean, these are cl really close to being into final production, but I know there's some things for sure that have been changed, but I'm currently r racing with them right now. I'll tell you about these features, uh, the, the, the features that they have. They have this, I'm gonna bring it close up here. They have a magnetic sensor here for the, for the gas and for the clutch. Totally You can weird. see it right there. And basically what it does is, there's a rod that connects through this mount here. And at the end of that rod, right there, is a little magnet, is a little rectangular magnet. And that magnet just rotates a little bit uh, right up next to that sensor. And as yeah. it rotates, that's basically giving you your rotation. And we're talking just this tiny amount of rotation, but it's enough that it, it's very precise too and it'll never wear out. Yep. Uh, brake has a load cell. Um, and one of the things that we've recommended, well, I'm not going to even get into that because we're not gonna sure what's going to happen. I don't want to say that they're going to add this or that because we're not sure. But I am just going to say, oh, $200, these things are going to retail yeah. for $199.95. So looking at them, I mean, think of the, the, the pedals that you would, off the top of your head, compare this to. Just looking at it, you instantly know it's not a over-the-counter type pedal. No. This is something special. You know, you buy You them cannot compare own. these. These pedals cannot be compared to any combo pack right now on the market. That's the wording. I'd say the closest combo pack pedals are the G25s. The G25 are a really decent set of pedals, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they don't hold a match to these, in my opinion. No. Um, these are the best pedals. Now, now, these are the best pedals that, at this price point, which there really aren't any right now. No. 200 bucks is a steal for these. I think it's an aluminum. Is this aluminum, Sean? You're, yeah, you're aluminum. You're a metal guy. Yeah. Um, and I like the design, really cool design here, mounted really easily into my pod. Uh, it's got some rubber feet on the bottom. Uh, for those of you that got it just a regular floor, even carpet, these, yeah. th this thing's not gonna go anywhere. These no. things weigh 15 pounds. On the carpet, they didn't move. Um, one of my gripes right now in it, hear that when it hits the, uh, Gregor and I have told them about this, but this is an easy fix. I'm sure there's something they can do. Just a little clock clunking when, it, when, you, when you go full full gas or full clutch. Brake yeah. doesn't have that because it's got that load cell. Right. But, um, man, these things feel great. I, I, I've noticed my lap times are going down already. Um, you know, they're going to be in a combo with the GT3 RSs. Um, I believe you can pre-order them now. Uh, again, these are pre-production, but I'm be I believe within the next month or two they, you're going to be able to have these yeah. at, uh, at your door. Yeah. I mean, you know, and Sean said, you know, which pedals you compare them to, and sorry for cutting you off there, CSTs, no TSWs, BRDs. This is at the bottom of the scale of the price point. So when you look at the other, uh, you know, pedals that come solo, I mean, what, what I look for is adjustability. So we've been playing with these, and we actually were able to get the gas pedal further back than the brake pedal. Move we just inward. did a heel and toe segment, and yeah. Sean's like, dude, check this out for heel and toe. And yeah. Because we talked about it. For heel and towing, this is one of the reasons why I can't really heel and toe, and I never really thought about it. The pedals are always at the same. They're flush. They're all flush. and. Sean brought up a good point. He's like, wait a second, the gas is usually deeper than the brake, so when you're heel and towing, when you bring that brake in... You can apply a little first. It matches almost with the gas pedal versus yeah. you pushing the brake in and then your foot's 
anyway. So you see the way we have these set up, you can actually see a little distance. Right. So you could actually apply a little bit of brake and then be able to roll that gas. Just uh, anyway, um, but adjustability is a big part. So you got some nice adjustability with the pedals being able to go backward and forward. And right, on, on the set we have mounted in my pod right now, we've moved the clutch over into these two holes so it gives a little bit more width between here. You can also do that here if you wanted. That's not really adjustable here, but Sean was able to move it back. Yeah. Uh, the spring tension is adjustable. Yeah, actually, this is really cool. I mean, you can, uh, like we mentioned, the other 911 pedals are really light. And these, you can tune them out and have it pretty light and tighten the spring down and tighten them up quite a bit. Uh, same thing goes for the clutch. And that made a good difference. The, the brake, now is there a way to adjust the brake tension? I mean, it's a load cell, so it sort of is a progressive feel. It's got a potentiometer that allows you to adjust, um, I believe, how hard you got to push and how far you got to push. Um, I, again, we just, I've only had these for a couple days, so uh, still in an early prototype, so I have it. There's two potentiometers to dial in. Again, we were t I was talking to Gregor, and we're trying to figure out um, <laughs> how to get these to work, but um, anyway, I think that's about it. Yeah. Sean, you anything else you want to say about these going out? No, I mean, again, I just, I, I can't wait till we really get to give them a lot of time. I mean, they feel great initially. You know, we've driven, I mean, we've never reviewed the, the ECCI or, or some of the expensive pedals, but we've driven all of them. Speaking of which, I hear that they're going to be coming out with some budget pedals too, so we'll be comparing those to these, obviously. And you should send them our way. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but you know, we've tried them all, and I'm just, again, I, I the price point on these for what you're getting in return is, is just kind of blows me away. Yeah, definitely. Um, now, my final thoughts. Uh, these are in my pod, like we mentioned. We're showing you footage of these uh, uh, with all of us driving them. And I'm very impressed with them so far. Uh, they're definitely not leaving my pod uh, for a while. And um, one of the things I'd like to mention about it, I love the, the way the gas pedal feels. It's got a nice throw to it. That This is actually a prototype, and this prototype doesn't show the amount of throw. But we have actually more throw in the, in the, the closer to production uh, version. Um, I like the tension on the pedal. You know, I don't like the floppy pedals on these, on these um, for the Carrera the 911. Man, I love the way this gas pedal feels and the clutch. The brake I'm still getting used to, but I love the progression. Um, I think there might be a, a slight change to it, but uh, very cool brake. I mean, I'm really starting to get a good feel for it. Also, it's got this force feedback. Well, it's called a force feedback, but basically uh, it gives you like a rumble that's set up for, it's gonna be set up for some game, so when you get to like the locking point of the tires and stuff, that, that the brake's supposed to rumble. Haven't felt it yet. That would be cool. Not developed in a like plug-in yet, but I'm sure, yeah, yeah. I, yeah so, uh, anyway, 200 bucks, man. I, you guys can't go wrong. If you're thinking about a nice set of pedals, I would definitely recommend them, you know, compared to twice, three times the price for some of those other ones out there. Not that those aren't great pedals. I've tried all those. They're awesome, man. Yeah. I, they are, Badass. And parts. they're all bulletproof. Yeah, they are. So, anyway, uh, again, Carrera, Porsche 911 wheel, loved it. Uh, definitely recommend that. And same with the Clipsport pedals, man. This, yeah. you know, Fanatics making some really cool stuff. So, Darren Ganji, Sean Cole, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the track.